Hi, my name is Dara Duman. I'm one of the developers of VP Easy Events WordPress plugin, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's check out the events listing first. We have some demo data here, and then I'm going to click on the edit of uh, one of the events. This is the edit screen. Let's scroll down a little bit. You're going to see the registration type. This is the most important part here. You can select RSVP, WooCommerce or Easy Digital Downloads types or just simply select no registration. Start and end dates. You can display a time zone if you like to. And add a cost. You can, you can have multiple organizers per event. I'm going to select one of them and only one venue where the event is happening at. And just put in some tags and categories and maybe a featured image. I'm going to select the RSVP here and see the front end. Once you select the RSVP and update it, you're going to see the RSVP button up there. And then see, you see the organizers, we added a new one, it shows up. And a venue. And once you click on the RSVP button, a model shows up. And you can just enter. Visitors can enter the information over there. If the visitor is logged in, then the email is already filled out. And over here, you can see the uh, organizers. And then if you click on the RSVP button on the organizer page, it also shows you the form where the users can RSVP from organizer page as well, as well as venues. I'll show you that later. And then this is the organizer edit screen. You can add, add more events if you'd like to. I'm gonna add one. Let's see the front end here. Yes. And let's click on the venue page. Venues have their own pages as well as the organizers. And when, from venue page, you can, the people, uh, users can register also for events and buy, buy event tickets if the Google Commerce or is the digital downloads extensions are enabled. Let's edit the venue and see the edit screen. Scroll down. You can see the events map and a nice expert excerpt there each event can happen at most in one venue if you have a parent event with multiple events happening under it you need to create a parent event and associate that with the event and then you can also add attendees to event manually by adding let's see the other pages default pages created by the plugin this is the event grid page it shows the event thumbnail date and names it's got also page navigation if you have multiple events you can use short codes to limit the number of events are displayed on the grid. Let's check out the uh, event calendar and event calendar links go, go directly to the events pages. Okay let's check out the settings. The plugin comes with its own theming system, templating system and uh, do multiple things here you just play around and see you can enable disable attributes you can enable different sections of enable disable different sections of the event pages I'm gonna just do um, change the template from right
right sidebar to the left sidebar and you see it over here change it without change without modifying the theme templates and the plugin also comes with its own widget area under appearance click on the widgets and you can see it says EMD widget area this is the standard widget area for our, all our plugins and once you put in a the widget over there it only displays in the plugins the taxonomies can be modified and the form this is the RSVP form that you can customize here you can enable disabled fields you can show CAPTCHA or disable CAPTCHA or the other thing is if you'd like to limit the RSVPs to the logged in users only you can display a login and registration form if the visitor is not logged in and hide an event map icon let's check out the tools tab if you're having theme related issues just disable it and save it it changes it it disables the templating system and thanks for watching